Greetings to your family. It's Mohammed Mahdi. Create lifestyle freedom. Today we're going to be speaking uh, about lead capture pages and list building. Lead capture pages and list building. And what we want to do is focus on uh, how auto response, how uh, capture forms are made within your autoresponder. And we're going to be using MailChimp as the example. In this conversation, hopefully in the next five to seven minutes, we're going to quickly show you how to get over to MailChimp, uh, the autoresponder service that we're using, to develop the capture form that will be used in your lead capture pages. Actually, as we develop that capture form or that sign up form, we're going to be grabbing the HTML code that corresponds to that form that we that we've built and we're going to plug that into uh, our page builder software which is InstaBuilder we're going to plug the HTML code for our capture form into our page builder software which is InstaBuilder in order to create a lead capture page so what you see on the screen right now is a is a lead capture page a very simple one and I should say lead capture form and it's a very simple one this is called a mini capture form right or a mini squeeze form squeeze pages and capture pages are synonymous terms they're both used to describe a form that you collect a name and email address from your prospects in exchange for something that they are looking for uh, or information that they're seeking to get so here we have the example of a mini squeeze page and I'm going to show you a standard squeeze page this is an example of a standard squeeze page that has three components a uh, a stunning uh, graphic image number one a headline here the headline is online wealth systems rock the industry and then a form with a call to action uh, on this form the form is right here where the prospects name first and last and their email is collected with a call to action that says simply enter your information below and get instant access today right and so uh, they click this call to action button this action button says get access now after they fill their name and the email address and they're sent to uh, the, the next page where they get access to this information that they're seeking daily instant direct pay that puts you in control of your own life right uh, so that this is the kind of form we're going to be uh, building and uh, I'm sorry this is the kind of page that we're going to be building and we're going to go over to our autoresponder MailChimp to develop this form and take the HTML code that corresponds to this form and plug it into our page builder which in this case is called InstaBuilder alright so here we go uh, I'm going to go over to MailChimp here we have MailChimp.com MailChimp.com and you'll want to log into your MailChimp account I've already um, auto loaded my information my name and, email, and uh, my password into the fields here and I'm going to just simply log in so now once inside MailChimp it's really easy to uh, develop a form number one and then get the email I'm sorry get the uh, embed code the HTML embed code that corresponds to that form number two and then grab the actual URL that co corresponds to that form now the URL is a secondary consideration 
that's really not necessary. We're here to build the form, the capture form, and then to get the HTML code that goes inside of our page builder software so that we render that capture form inside of the lead capture page that we're building. So here we go. Once inside the dashboard of MailChimp, uh, you're going to want to create a list. Um, that's going to be the first thing. And you have to think of this list as um, the, end, the end result of what you want to deliver to your prospect once you gather their information. So, for example, um, let's go to lists. I'm going to open this in a new tab so you'll see these two tabs pop up at the top of my screen. And I'm doing that so that we can keep everything visible. And so here we have lists. And so one of the lists that I have is a classic ebook series. So the objective of developing this list is to, number one, offer my prospect a classic ebook, either on personal development or uh, business development. And then uh, in exchange for this ebook or series of ebooks, I'm, I'm uh, asking them to give me their name and their email address so that I can keep them informed of new books that are coming up in the series and other offers that I want to make available to them. So you got to think about the end result when you are building a list, right? CLF uh, 01 is um, a list of people who are interested in creating lifestyle freedom, and I've got some offer uh, that is behind the lead capture page uh, for this list that uh, I'm going to give to those prospects who are seeking to create lifestyle freedom in exchange for their name and email address. So let's, um, let's develop another list. Let's develop a list right here on the fly. So here in this section, uh, we have a create list button. In the right hand, upper right hand corner, we have a create list button. So I'm going to click the Create List button and open it up here in a new tab, hopefully. Let's do it this way. Okay, so now I have, um, do you want to create a new list or just want to subdivide an existing list? We want to create a new list. And um, so here's the when when you click on that button it brings you to a new page and this button uh, this page says um, state your details state the details of this list so the name of this list is going to be um, online methods of attraction right and your describers are going to see this, so make it something appropriate, okay? And so now, uh, and I'll, I'll capitalize, since they're going to see this, let me capitalize the first letters of each one of these words, or at least the main words. And then who is the email from? So it's asking my default email address. So I'm going to make this from... Ideas go viral at gmail.com. Okay? And this is the address that people are going to reply to when they get emails from this list. And the default name is going to be Muhammad Mahdi. And remind people on remind people how they got on this list. And so I'm going to say. These letters are in response to your request on building online attraction and your 
online brand, right? A N D. Okay, so contact information on this list. Uh, it says Global Wealth Networks and the address for Global Wealth Networks. Anything else? Do I want to get a daily summary of the subscribe, unsubscribe activity? Do I want to get the, the notices of subscribe or unsubscribe activity one by one? These are going to be sent to the email address, right? Or do I want to, um, uh, do I also want to get unsubscribe notifications as they happen? So I want to get a daily summary. That's what I found to be the best use of my time to check um, my emails regarding subscribe and unsubscribe activity to any of the lists at the beginning of the day and at the end of the day. So really at the end of the day, I'll check that activity. So I just want to uh, make sure that everything is congruent here. I've got Global Wealth Networks as the uh, address for this list. I can, um, I can edit that or I can go up here and it says that um, the default from email is ideas go viral at uh, gmail.com. So let me just check one thing here. Notifications are going to be sent to this address, but it's going to seem as though the email that it's coming from is this address. So that's fine. This is not the address. That, this address is not an address that I check daily. However, my notifications address is an address that I check daily. So you want to keep that in mind. Where are the email notifications for this list activity going to be going to? Where are they, where, where are they going to be delivered? Where does MailChimp going to deliver your notifications for who subscribed and unsubscribed? It needs to be an address that you're going to see. Okay? And so, uh, on, on the uh, contrary, when my uh, when my recipients get these emails, they're going to see that the emails come from this address. So it's up to you. It could be the same address. It could be a different address. It's all depending upon what your, uh, what your intent is. So now that I've created the list, I'm going to save this list. Now that list has been saved. Okay, and this is going to go very quickly. Now I have an intention for this list. I know um, that these letters are going to be a series of campaign letters that are speaking to people who want to find online methods for attracting and inviting people to their offer, right? And so the next uh, step that I want to make is to immediately build a sign-up form that I can either put on my one of my web pages, uh, yeah, or uh, to include inside of a standalone lead capture page. Again, I'm going to immediately go and build a sign up form that I can use to put inside of one of my web pages. Hey, subscribe here if you're interested in, uh, in learning online methods for attracting and inviting to your offer. So I can put that on the front wall of any one of my blog pay, uh, blog sites or websites, or I can build a standalone lead capture page and insert this sign up form, subscribe form, inside of that lead capture page, which is what we're going to do. So right now, let's uh, we've developed our list. Let's develop a sign up form, and this is going to go very quickly. All right, so here I've. Uh, I'm on the sign up form page. This is where I'm building my forms. You can see it highlighted here, sign up forms. Now there are a variety of different uh, sign up forms that you can make, um, general forms that you uh, build and design and uh, they, have, they have a link that a person clicks on and when they click on that link, they're taken to your form, right? When a person clicks, clicks on the link, they're taken to your form or you can have an embedded form which is what we want this is the kind of form that can be embedded in your website or blog site or that can be embedded in any one of your standalone lead capture pages so we're going to select this kind of form 
So I'm clicking the select button. And so now that took me to the page where my form is in front of me. See, here it is. We're going to scroll down and here are the embedded form. This is called a classic form, by the way. You can see classic is highlighted. And this is a classic subscribe form built by MailChimp, just in a matter of seconds. You see right here that this is the, <clears throat> the HTML code that we're going to be grabbing. So just like that, just that quickly, we got to the form and we have the embed code that we're going to grab to put inside of uh, either our website or blog site pages or inside of a lead, standalone lead capture page that we're going to build. So let's go up here and do a couple of things first. So we're on the embedded forms page and we see that our form is here. However, the form is not in the format that I wanted in. It has email first, uh, first name, last name. And I'm not quite sure whether this is just a standard way that these, uh, the, that these forms are rendered um, by MailChimp um, or if the form is, in, in other words, is the form actually going to look like this email first in the first field? then first name in the second field and, and uh, last name in the last field? I don't know. Uh, I don't know if that's the way that that form will actually look. But So what I want to do is change the order of these fields so that it's in the, in the way that I want that form to appear uh, on my 